friends in our last lecture we discuss about some important points in our first topic that is rotational dynamics today we have to discuss also the very important point in the right hand thumb rule second important point in last year 12 science examination there is a question on same point that is the circle uniform circular motion one marks definition of here it is a uniform circular motion and opposite to that there is another point that is the non uniform circular motion everyone know that the right hand thumb rule it is very very simple imagine the axis of rotation to be held in your right hand that is in axis and imagine the axis of rotation to be held in your right hand and the finger curl around it the finger curl around it and the thumb is of stretch the finger curl around it and the thumb is out stretch then the curl finger then the curl finger gives the direction of motion then the curl finger gives the direction of motion and the out stretch thumb gives the direction of angular displacement that is omega vector understand everyone the curl finger gives the direction of motion and the out stretch thumb gives the direction of angular displacement that is the omega vector that is the right hand thumb rule next and very important point here are given that is uniform circular motion uniform means uniform means there are continuous speed and constant speed here are given the definition of that here are given the definition that during circular motion the speed of the particle is remains constant very important one that is the speed of the particle remains constant that motion is called as uniform circular motion last year board examination there are one marks question on the same point that is definition definition of uniform circular motion okay first here i give some concept related to the uniform circular motion everyone know the about the centripetal and centrifugal force we will discuss detail about the uniform uh, circular motion and there is two uh, main motions that is the centripetal force and centrifugal force we will discuss about that there is a difference between centripetal and centrifugal force but here are only given that acceleration responsible for this is the centripetal or radial acceleration what is the centripetal when the particle is moved towards the center of the circle towards the center of circle is the centripetal force and when it go away from or it move away from the center of circle that is centrifugal force here are given there is responsible uh, responsible for this is the centripetal force that means it directed opposite side hence when the object is rotated what happened here take example this is any object and here is a particle particle when this uh, object is moved in circular motion the particle on uh, this part is move away from the center of that circle that means which force are the centrifugal force but here are given the centripetal force centripetal means towards the center but it is move away from the center of circle hence here are given the minus sign that is e a is equal to the r vector that is equal to minus omega square r everyone know that omega is the particular omega omega is the angular velocity that is angular velocity and here are given the minus sign it is the reason of that because centripetal is move towards the center of circle and centrifugal away from the center of circle 
Hence, they are given this point. Okay. Next, they are given second point. What is the second point are given there? Uni in the uniform circular motion, its magnitude is constant. Magnitude is constant. That means we always take the positive sign. Hence, we get the new equation. That equation number first. That is the k is equal to omega square r. That is the next equation. That is here I know that this equation is here I know that when why we get this equation because in uniform circular motion its magnitude is constant. Its magnitude is constant. Hence we get the a. That is the acceleration is equal to that is the radial acceleration is equal to omega square r. But everyone know that the relation between linear velocity and angular velocity. Linear velocity is denoted by phi, and the angular velocity is denoted by omega. And the relation between linear velocity and angular velocity is given by the equation that is the phi is equal to r omega. Squaring on both sides, what we get? Squaring on both sides of this equation, the square of phi is v square, the square of r is r square, the square of omega is omega square. We get the equation as this equation we get that is v square is equal to omega r square omega square. After that, only at a at a single term we get the value omega square. How we get the value of omega square? Because the r square is multiplied after this side becomes divided. Hence we get the omega square is equal to v square upon r square. Put this equation. Put the value of omega square in equation number first. In which equation we have to put this? We put this in equation number first. This is the equation number first. That is, we return it as a. Okay, here are same term are written. Omega square. The value of omega square are given here. Omega square. What is the value of omega square? Are given phi square upon r square. Phi square upon r square. R as it is. Okay. Next, there is this R and this R square get cancelled. What is the remaining term? Here are remaining term that is the a a that is acceleration is equal to v square upon R. That is the acceleration. That is the v. V means there is a linear velocity and R is the radius vector given here. But everyone know that here are given the equation number second. From that equation, everyone know the relation between linear velocity and angular velocity. Linear velocity and angular velocity is related by phi is equal to r omega. Only rotating this equation, we get the value of r is equal to phi upon omega because omega is multiplied factor. This side becomes divided. Omega is the multiplied factor. This side becomes divided. Hence, we get the r is equal to On omega, put this value in equation number third. This value, this value we have to put in this equation, or uh, directly in this equation we have to. That is the equation number third. What we get by putting what is the equation number third? A is equal to v square upon r. That is a a is equal to v square upon r. What is the value of r? R here I already put. That is a r is equal to v upon Omega to the v square upon v upon omega. That is, this is the divided term. Uh, if we need to rotate, what do we need? Multiply this v square. That is v square into omega upon v. This v and this v. That is the one v from upper term. Numerator one v and denominator one v get cancel. What we remain term that is v. Into this omega, that is a a is equal to v omega. That is the final equation. That is the acceleration is equal to that is the v v is linear velocity into omega is the angular velocity. That is the equation. And remember that this always directed towards the center. Hence, their force is centripetal force. This always directed towards the Center of circle because everyone knows that when we apply centripetal force, centripetal force is around radius and it directed away towards the center of circle. Hence, that is the centripetal force. 
there that one people of that that is the centripetal force not centrifugal that is the centripetal force are given that is the centripetal force okay next that is all about the uniform circular motion in textbook these all step are given directly this equation are given directly but how we get this equation here are given step by step remember these all points okay next they are given the non uniform circular motion very simple concept because we already understand about the uniform circular motion everyone knows about uniform circular motion uniform circular motion is motion in that the speed is always constant or the speed of the particle is constant opposite to the uniform circular motion here are given the same way the particle is moving in a circular way or along the radius but the speed is changeable and is not constant the object is moving this next example this is circular part this is the object the object is moving this way but the speed is speed is not constant speed is not constant that is in the non uniform circular motion the speed is not constant that is about the non uniform circular motion that means here are also the change in the acceleration because when there is the velocity changes there is also change in the acceleration because everyone know that the definition of acceleration is given as the rate of change of velocity per unit time that is anyone that is the linear velocity or angular velocity that means when there is change in angular acceleration or linear acceleration it is depends on the velocity that means the speed of the particle is changes that means the magnitude of velocity changes the acceleration also changes that is the related to the non uniform circular motion okay understand everyone this is the very very important point because everyone uh, every year there are any question on the uh, same point because last year there is a definition this year may be uh, any uh, numerical for two marks or in the C, uh, cet neat exam there are also uh, any question for one marks okay so prepare this all part uh, very clearly anyone have uh, doubt about that equation please comment in the uh, comment box okay in uh, next lecture there are uh, we will uh, discuss about the very important uh, point is the difference between centripetal and centrifugal force that is we already discuss about that that is the centripetal force tends towards the center centrifugal that is the away from the center of circle we clearly discuss about that point in the next part that is the part third